Hi y'all, she was seven. Yes, I have on my antlers because it is December and I just feel like wearing some antlers, okay? So, yes, I have my Christmas tumbler. Okay, spending the holidays if you're single. How to spend the holidays if you're single, okay? Because I know a lot of people are single and they start feeling bad this time of year. So I just want to tell y'all, it's okay. I remember when I was single during the holiday season, I had so much fun. I didn't even realize I was single. You know why? Because all my friends were single. My sister was single, well, some of the years. <laughs> and we just used to hang out and have fun, go to movies, go to dinner, parties, Christmas parties clubs this is when i was younger y'all and i would just not even think about being single because i would be having so much fun meeting so many people i would be dating because i wasn't really attached to anyone so i could go out on dates i could go walk around the mall for hours um try on stuff you know stuff like that and it was just i didn't get stuck in that moment thinking oh i'm so single oh i'm so single oh i'm so single I wish I had this. I wish I had that. Hold on, let me adjust this lighting because there we go. So, if you're starting to feel that holiday drag, go do something fun. Go get some champagne and invite your girlfriends over and have ladies' night and watch movies. Um, like if you're not a club person, like if you don't like going out or if you don't have a lot of money to spend or you're just not in a part of the city where, you know, stuff like that is available. Have a girls night in and do like, um, you know, uh, play truth or dare, get some good um, chick flicks, um, maybe like a lot of women know how to do nails, some know how to do hair. Y'all could have like a spa hookup party and it's like a, one girl who knows how to do nails will do everyone's nails. And one girl who knows how to do hair, well, well that's a lot of work. but. Um, maybe she could like help someone do one of their hairs. I don't know. And then just, you know, trade secrets and say, you know, what works for you, what works for me, because you would be surprised at how much you can learn from other women, what works and what doesn't work. Okay. And if you have it like that and you have some money that you can spare, um, like you could hire someone to come in and do like manicures and pedicures just for the little spa party. And make it like a holiday theme spa party. So you won't even be thinking about it, man. You'd be like so wrapped up in yourself and your friends and looking cute and stuff like that. And you'll start to feel a lot better about yourself. And you won't even be feeling like you're lacking anything because you're really not. Uh, you, or you were born with everything that you need, you know. We just feel like we need a partner because it's pushed so much in society. But really, you don't really need a partner. You just want to share your world with someone and you want to you know uh, <clears throat> be with someone who appreciates you who spoils you and all that kind of stuff but you really don't need a person you know a lot of people just want a person and that's fine but if you're not in the place right now where you're going to have a boyfriend this season, focus on your friends, focus on yourself, focus on your beauty, focus on, you know, fun things. Um, and these will be in your memory forever. Because if you ever do settle down and get married, you're going to be remembering back on the past of all the fun you had when you were single. Now, if you can't do that, then it's not going to be any fun to sit there and reminisce when you have nothing to reminisce about. So make your single life fun. Don't make it all about, oh, I need a man, oh, I'm looking for a man, I'm so tired and sad and bored. Make it fun, make it memorable. Make it so that when you get with your sisters or your girls or whatever, y'all can see, remember that time when we had that party and we watched like a marathon of uh, girlfriends or sex in the city and it was so funny and we got drunk and we were laughing and we did our, you know, nails and Woke up with, you know, <laughs> nail polish all over our hair. You know, something stupid, you know. Um, but it will be a memory to cherish. And you would see your single life not as a time of lack, but as a time of fun and, you know, good times. 
So if y'all are starting to feel those holiday blues and like you're all alone and blah, 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 have a party, throw yourself a party, who cares? You know, I, I'm not one to do that, but my sister is, y'all. She would throw herself in a party in a second, but you know, when she was single, she would be the queen of throwing parties. She would just throw a party just because it was Thursday, you know? And it wasn't just a, you know, a party. It was like, she had, you know, nice champagne, um, food, music. It was, it was like, it was cool. So you also would be into, you know, planning a party. Your mind would not be on anything. Okay. So try that. If y'all are getting those single blues, get together um, with a bunch of other girls who you think feel the same way and just throw yourselves a big party. Um, and guys, I know y'all can like throw a lots of parties this time of year because there's lots of sports. You know, guys, get together with your with your guy friends and go watch sports at a sports bar. Uh, invite them over, order some pizzas, or if y'all can cook in the kitchen, cook or whatever. Have everybody bring some drinks and y'all just party too. Y'all don't need to worry about all the stressful things this time of year. This time of year is is for enjoying. So. If you're not hooked up, if you don't want to get hooked up, if you're in a place right now where you're just not going to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you just want to chill and not have the pressure of the holidays on you and having a girlfriend or a boyfriend, then just throw a big party and party and absorb all that good holiday energy through your friends. You don't need to be attached romantically, romantically to anyone to feel like you are someone, okay? Now, I know all of my videos, I say, oh, well, you need to do this and you need to do that and to get a man or get a woman, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's fine. Everybody knows that. But this time of year, let's just chill and relax and enjoy. I mean, if you don't have a man by now, it's almost Christmas. A, you're probably not going to get one because he's going to save that money on his Chris on buying a Christmas gift. <laughs> or B, he's going to come at you right after Christmas. <laughs> might get them before New Year's if you're lucky okay um, and I know a lot of the side chicks out there are being very neglected right now don't lose hope y'all um, the holiday season is a lesson for side chicks uh, it puts things into perspective as to why you don't want to be a side chick for the rest of your life okay because it's gonna be a lonely lonely holiday season year after year okay um, believe me when I say if you're a side chick and you've accepted your side chick status, you can't be mad. You can't be mad this time of year. You got to go and find something to do um, with your friends. Go to the movies. Go shopping. Do whatever you need to do. But don't get depressed about the decision that you made, okay? Because you know you're a side chick. Don't be mad if the man doesn't want to spend his holidays with you because... You are the side chick. He doesn't spend holidays with side chicks. He spends holidays with his family. Now, I don't have anything against side chicks for real. Like, I really don't. I'm just saying, y'all can't get mad when you chose that lifestyle. You know, if you want to have the man for the main holiday, then uh, get a man who's not going to ask you to be a side chick. Okay? Um, I think most women have been a side chick once in their life maybe I don't know I know I have once and I didn't know I was and then I found out I was like oh my god I'm the side chick oh well, I'll get I guess I gotta get me a side dude <laughs> oh I was already uh I was already corrupted back then y'all so don't even bother and and the funny thing is my side dude became my boyfriend and I dumped the guy who had me as the side chick. It was crazy. Okay. This was back before I met my husband, y'all. So I was dating this guy and he was fun. Um, and I don't, I don't know if he had a side chick. I think he did, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I, no, no, no. Wait, I'm getting all these people confused. Okay. Okay. I was dating this guy. And I felt like I was the side chick because uh, he his family was really well off, and he was like fancy. And <laughs> how much time do I have left? Let me see if I can tell this story. Okay, yeah, he was fancy. Oh, he was fancy. He was gorgeous. This is one of the guys you go for for the looks. Okay, this guy was like a male model. Okay, and his family was rich. Um. 
I'm not going to say what his family did because that might be too easy to figure out. But yeah, I think I was his side chick for a, a, little, a little second. And it was around the holiday season too. And I was like, you know what? I, I don't think I can do this anymore. And we had just started dating too. And he was like, what do you mean? I said, I just don't feel like this is real. And he was like, what do you mean it's not real? I was like, I think I'm the side chick. <laughs> and he looked at me crazy. And I was like, um, because I, um, I just felt that I was, I'm very intuitive. And so it ended up being true. So I kind of dumped him and then <laughs> he kept calling me and calling me. And I was like, ah, I didn't answer. And I deleted him off of, you know, my phone and everything and it was it was so funny because you wouldn't expect a woman to dump someone that rich and that attractive but I don't do side chicks stuff like I'm not the side chick I, I would never be the side chick ever 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 that was um insulting to me like I couldn't do it because I I think too highly of myself <laughs> And the reason I'm laughing is because uh, he was actually surprised because I guess he has a lot of women that will just be his side chick because he had money and he was cute. But I was like, mm mm. If I'm stuck here with you being your side chick, I could be missing out on somebody with more money than you, and that looks better than you, and that's gonna make me the main chick. I'm not. I'm not gonna waste my time being no side chick for you. The side chick does not get the benefits. The wife gets the benefits. So. I said bye bye and now fast forward what 15 years I'm married and I don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff anymore <laughs> but if I had stuck with him who knows I might have never met my husband y'all I, I would have never met my husband if I was stuck with being a side chick okay so y'all have to rem remember that so happy holidays to y'all throw y'all selves a party um and y'all have fun you know this is not the time of year to be down okay a lot of people suffer with depression this time of year don't fall into that trap take your vitamins drink you some hot chocolate get you some coffee go out walk around the malls get some fresh air and just have fun y'all okay i'm gonna see y'all later and if y'all have any video ideas for topics or questions please put them in the comments so I can try to answer them. I'm going to be trying to, um, I'm going to be trying to answer more questions since uh, I have a lot of questions in my comments. I was going to do like a whole video of just all questions and answers, but those can get pretty long. So I'm just probably going to try to cover two questions per video. So if y'all can ask a question, I might do two per video, um, starting with the most wild question okay so i'll see y'all later bye